Hello friends and welcome back. This is Slay the Spire. Uh, you know, I've put a bunch of hours into this game and I really love this game and figured I'd share a little bit with you. I'm sure most of you have at least heard of it. Um, it's a pretty popular game. So uh, I'm not going to really explain too much. We're just going to jump into a normal game. I was really thinking of who I wanted to play first, and I think it's kind of best to just start at the beginning, the Ironclad. This is more of a tankier kind of character. Um, right, so let's jump in. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Um, move a card from your deck, obtain a random common relic, sounds pretty nice. Let's go with the common relic. I think that's pretty good. Bag of marbles. At the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's pretty nice. That's a great way to start this. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what this is going to be. I'm just going to play, make this video, and um, if, if you guys and girls like it, then let me know, and I can play some more. Um, I'm just I'm going to you know, this looks fun over here right but let's take this path um, this is kind of a, a, a chill game easy to kind of just play from time to time I'm gonna go with let's see at the end of combat heal six so a block I'll get this back and I'll hit again. We'd like to, um, this uh, vulnerable is going to be really nice to just do a lot of damage in the first round. Um, well, let's keep it going then. But yeah, I don't know what this is going to be. I could play once a week or something like that. Um, make this a kind of a return game just to have an extra game on the channel or it could come once a month it depends on on what you what you all think about it so explosive potion that'll come in handy for probably one of the enemies or combat sites coming up and this is what really is great about this game um, building the deck keeping it thin or thick it all depends on how you want to play the game uh, an early power might be nice whenever you draw status card draw one card that would mean that we want to have some negative cards I think in our deck I don't really think that's a good one to have war cry um, now nah, I'm gonna go for body slam let's go for grabbing as much defense as possible and then um, go with the donut. Some max XP. Or uh, HP, sorry. Yeah, and then um, Body Slam will allow us to use our block for uh, attacks. All right, this one is kind of what I was thinking of. Um, we could kill this one outright right now and then continue with this but since they're not attacking let's just attack this would become a nine so let's let's attack back here or maybe I can take care of this let's do that uh, this way we only have this one we've already dealt some damage to it that's good Body slam. So, I mean, they're not they're not attacking, so defending really wouldn't do much. Let's just strike, strike, strike. Just one more. I'm not really much of a like speed runner or anything, but I'm not necessarily going to take the time to explain how things are going to work. Just 
just go through the game. Um, I don't really know how long this episode's going to be either, so... Might just go until we die. Or... Yeah, I have, actually, it's a, it's a good question. I'm not sure. <laughs> Searing Blow. Deal 12 damage can be upgraded. Oh, that one's interesting. Um, as long as we keep a lot of strikes, then Perfected Strike can be a good card. At the moment, we have the five strikes here. But any other card, so Perfected Strike could be another one, right? Um, but Armaments is pretty great. Let's go for that, since we kind of like a lot of block so far. Let's go this way and grab that immediately. Okay. Reach inside, lose 3 HP, 25% chance. Go for it. No? Okay. Okay, we got it. We'll, we'll be healing, so it doesn't really matter too much. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by 6. Hmm, I've never seen that one before. It sounds interesting. Okay, something I'm really bad about is um, using and remembering the potions, so I'm going to try to remember. Let's just strike, strike, strike. Already down below halfway, that's good. Especially for this kind of enemy. They're just going to grow every round. So we could go defend, defend, and then attack for 10. Um, let's do this. And then uh, that one would be, oh, actually that one's good. So we'd become free so we can defend, defend, and attack. We'll take zero damage. And strike, strike. Good. We'll heal back some of that that we lost trying to get this dark stone Arab. Ariapt? Ariapt. Okay, another armaments. I'm not sure I want too many of these. Um, if I do end up taking another one, upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. I mean, it is a good card. My thought here is if I do end up taking another, then we're having too many defends, but that would help out the body slam quite a bit. Um, but we could drop some of these defends if we're taking armaments, and that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, although Twin Strike would be 7 damage twice when we upgrade it. Deals three. Hmm. Let's go for an attack card. Uh, Twin Strike sounds like a good one. Now nah, let's go with Professor Strike. I wanna. I I kind of forget if that one is included as well. All right. This is one of my least favorites because now it it gets rid of this attack. Uh, let's go with. I guess we're just going to go strike strike because if I do this it's going to well it won't it won't matter anyway yep because I won't be able to attack with it anyway but I forgot the first round it doesn't matter now he has enraged whenever you play a skill you will gain two strength so playing this for instance this probably is worth it we can just take the damage um, I didn't see how much that was. Was that 18? I think that was 18. So 6 plus the other 5. Hmm. Yeah. Let's just continue. We, we'll be able to heal some of this back. I don't really want to take more damage. 
than is necessary. We'll we'll get some of this back. I'm not too worried about it. Perfected strike. Okay, so it's deal deals two additional for all your cards containing strike. So I wonder if it is uh, including that one. Start each combat with one dexterity. Oh, that's going to help as well. Uh, more dexterity is going to help with our defense. Um, Zerk, gain two vulnerable at the start of your turn. Gain energy. What would this be upgraded? Just the one vulnerable? I would like to get some powers, but I'm not... I don't think this one's... Hmm. Yeah, there we go. That one will allow us to heal. I'm not going to rest here. I think this one is kind of a, a waste to rest. Um, it would be 25. It would get us pretty close, but we, we can heal through other means. And now that we have that other card, let's smith armaments. I think this one's a pretty, one, a pretty good one to uh, start off with. It's going to upgrade all the other cards in the hand for the rest of the combat. Um, so this is kind of like, you know, upgrading a bunch all at once, but it'll be random upgrades each time. Walk by an eerie statue holding several masks. Something behind you softly whispers, stop. So do we want... Uh, okay, lose HP and to gain some money. That would put us over 250. That might be a good thing. Do we have a shop coming up? Uh, there is if we go this way. And then there's one here too. So I guess it doesn't matter. We can we can grab it that way. And it might go this way. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Um... Or good face, bad face, and I forget which I forget what these are. Let's go for the gold. It's it's gonna help. Thank you. Uh, let's go this way just in case. I'm not sure. I want to see what we get here. While your HP is at or below 50%, you have three additional strength. Really? I think we'll take it. Uh, let's go for this then. I think this will be a good one. Or that yeah we get rid of all of their uh, artifacts because of bag of marbles um, deal four to heal so we could heal for 12 right now let's do this and then and defend We'll take a little bit of damage here, just three. And then of course a bunch of these dazed armaments, there we go. So we definitely want to defend quite a bit here. I think that's enough, and then we can start to do some damage. Um, it's just going to be three more, yeah. Let's go for this first one. If we kill this first one here, then they will take turns attacking. But if we... I've made the mistake of attacking the middle one. And then they attack at the same time. So it's it's kind of... Um, it's here. Six. That's not enough. But let's hit them anyway. And... I think I'll go for the defend just to just to keep a little bit more health here. I mean, it would be nice to get below 50%, right? For the red skull. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't good. Uh, defend, defend, strike. So we'll be able to kill this one next turn. Um, we'll take zero damage.
Okay. Well, let's armaments. It's it's available and we can't play these other cards, so we'll kill that one and defend again just to take zero damage. I mean, we, we don't have many choices here. So as you can see, the, the longer this combat goes on, the more of these dazed cards that we get in our uh, deck. And it can get pretty dangerous. Um... Let's go with armaments and then we'll attack this one i guess they're both uh close to death or have the same amount we'll go for the last one here this one might have been a good option here yeah look at this this is when it's really bad um but Luckily, we're not taking anything, any damage from this. It's unfortunate we weren't able to do so much, uh, do too much damage here. Man. Okay, attack here, attack there. So now we'll be able to kill this one next turn, and then we can just focus on that one in the middle. At least we're not taking any more damage, right? That's that's kind of a... Uh, something good coming out of this. I will take this damage, because I, I still... I don't think that's going to put us below. Will it? Okay, it does. It does. Well... Armaments, just to upgrade the cards, we'll attack for 12. And bash, good enough, dead. Okay, so Mummified Hand, whenever you play a power card, a random card in your hand costs zero that turn. All right, thorns. Uh, barricade would be great. Block is not removed at the start of your turn. Um, and that is good actually with this because we would be using all three of the energy. And Mummified Hand would then allow another card to be played. Infernal Blade at the, at a random, add a random attack into your hand, it costs zero. Let's go for Barricade. I kind of like the idea of keeping our leftover defense or block. Um, strength is always a good one that uh, I like to take that one quite a bit. You have no attacks in your hand. Draw two cards. Draw three cards and exa exhaust. Uh, Master of Strategy is pretty nice. Let's take a look at these first. Whenever you play a power, attack, and skill in the same turn, remove all your debuffs. Um, enemies with vulnerable take 75. That would be great for this. So I think that one's a perfect one to pick up. We can take this one. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain three block. That's not worth it. Um, I think that's a really good option because of Bag of Marbles. <clears throat> Okay, so they are, or we have one attack coming in, but I could put barricade. I don't think, actually, you know what, we'll do it because I know that we'll get one for zero because mummified hand, and that's a great one. Um, well, that was, that worked out very well. This way, if we do have any left over, it's going to help us. Um, I don't think that's necessarily going to be the case, but we'll try for it. Let's let's make sure that we do have extra. If we're going to put some up, let's make sure that we have a little bit extra. Uh, this way, we only need one. Um, yep, so we'll do armaments. Strike, strike, and body slam. 
that's why I, I wanted uh, Barricade, was for that one body slam. I mean, it, it would be nice if we could get another one, maybe. That would help out quite a bit. Um, strike, strike. Good work. We're healing back up. That's good. Now I need to remember I have these, right? Okay, fire breathing. Whenever you draw a status or curse, um, deal three to a random enemy three times. So that could be just nine if it's just one enemy. Uh, we'll go for headbutt because I like pulling uh, cards from the discard pile and putting them back. I think, forget. So from the discard pile back to the top of your draw pile. So then we know that it we can draw it back up. Um, I think I'm gonna go this way to continue the um, now I could take recall. I think I want to smith though. Let's smith. And how much would this this is be this becomes a two. So that would be better, right? Headbutt goes from 9 to 12. Body slam becomes... Um, 3. Which is also kind of nice. Let's go with barricade just to make it that much... Make it a little cheaper. This way we can play a, a defend at the same time. Um... All right, doesn't really matter which way we go. Vulnerable, they're attacking for 12. Let's play this. We'll get a card for free. Reaper is good. That will allow us to um, heal. Oh, for seven because they're they're vulnerable. Yes. Okay. And let's block. We've got some time here. I'd rather not take too much damage, so that I can upgrade another card. Um. Oh, let's armaments. I say we headbutt. So that we can take armaments back, or do we want to take perfected strike back? Let's take armaments back. Uh, and strike. This way, in two turns, we have um, upgraded uh, like what, four, eight cards, so that's pretty good. Um. You know what, let's let's just throw a bunch of defense out. Since we can keep it with barricade, let's just keep a bunch. I think we're getting body slam. We are, so that'll help out right here. Yep. So strike. That didn't do it. There we go. Another body slam would be nice. Deal four and apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Vulnerable would be nice to continue with, um, where is it? Paper frog. PH frog, not F frog. Sentinel. Gain five block. If this is exhausted, gain two. That's not really for us. Um, Okay. An attack or a power card. Let's go for Thunderclap because any time that we can apply Vulnerable is going to help us. And I don't think I want to heal here. Um, okay, I think I know which one that is. Um, yeah, we can use this. And we'll definitely want to use one of these. I'm surprised that we only got three and I didn't have to toss any of them. I, I always, always, as I said, forget. So we'll smith. 
Uh, what is this one? Seven. Um, perfected Strike might be a good one. Let's do Perfected Strike. It'll make it just that much more uh, stronger. Right, Barricade would be great to play immediately. Let's do that. We'll play Armaments and defend, and that way we are really ready for his in, uh, incoming assaults here. So we need to get him down to, uh, we need to be dealing 39 damage basically to get him down uh, to, he'll drop into a ball and he won't make this attack. We are unfortunately going to be taking this attack. But, let's see here, too vulnerable would be pretty nice, right? Let's do that. And we are cutting this in half, so I'll let it, I'll let it go. Now we need to deal 21 damage in the next round so that we don't take this, um, the negative effect. Okay. Let's continue with the vulnerable. There we go. That's a beautiful hit there. So now we know he's not going to hit. Um, before I forget, let's grab that. I think that's going to be uh, good. We're going to be taking four every round. So it's going to help us out uh, quite a bit. And it does open up uh, that slot there. So let's go with... See, he has three, three thorns. Sharp hide. So, defend, defend. Thirty-three, and we'll take zero damage out of that. And now he's going to stand back up. Um. Let's go with Defend. We'll take very little damage here. And then 27 more damage. So we'll take... Oh, we'll still take 0. That's good. And we'll keep 2 for the next round. Perfect. So again, we now we have to deal 40 damage to get him back down into that ball. Um, if we could do it before he makes an attack, that would be great. But I don't think that's what's going to be happening. Um... Let's see, armaments, I think that's a pretty good one to start with. We could go with Thunderclap for the vulnerable. And then attack again. Um, let's do that. Oh man, nine. Okay. That's fine. That just means that his next attack, we can we can stop it. I know he's not going to be attacking, so yeah, he's just going to be shielding up. Um, well, let's continue with the vulnerable, right? And because now he's down, we do this. We don't have to worry about bringing any new shield in for the next when he actually does attack. Um, and we're not going to be able to get through, well, we'd be able to get through it a little bit, but there's no reason to use attacks at this point. Well, this is going to work out pretty well. Um, let's go with this. That. Good. Yeah, this barricade is working out very well. And actually, because we are below 50%, we have the Red Skull. That's what's been... I've been wondering why we're hitting so much harder, but uh, 
That makes sense. So we only need 27 damage. Um, let's just do this, though. Let's block all of that incoming attack. And then some. I mean, Liquid Bronze might have been a good one to, to have for this because of this kind of attack here. Um, but once again, as I said, I, I forget these things. So... Let's do Perfected Slam, and he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Alright, quite a bit of money, that's great. We didn't get another potion. Uh, we don't need Barricade, of course. Gain 30 block and exhaust. That would work very well for this. Gain two vulnerable at the start of your turn. Gain one. We're going to take impervious. Let's take the uh, the block options. as, as uh, Not as much as possible, but we definitely need some more attacks. Um, wasn't there something here that had curses? Yeah, whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by 6. So, gain one at the start of your turn. Whenever you open an on-boss chest, obtain a curse. That one might be a good one. Double the effectiveness of potions, that's bad for me. Um, we're going to take that. That one looks good. We'll be taking some curses, and that's fine. It's going to help us. We can remove them later, too, so... Okay. Um, yeah, well, we've only been playing for 31 minutes or so, so let's just continue. Um, I can't... I don't know if... I guess we'll just make this a whole episode. See, either it dies, he dies, or uh, we make it to the end. Um, let's see here. Well, we have a fair amount of money. It's not a great amount of money. I guess I forget that we can do this. So, Merchant. There is an early one down here, but I don't think we really want the early one, do we? Um, I'm thinking the one after this so that we can remove the curse that we pick up. So, let's stay on kind of this side. That could be anywhere again. That didn't really help out too much. Let's see here. Let's go with this, and then we'll take up that question mark. Maybe pick up another one. Depends on what happens there. So, yeah, barricade. Armaments. Defend. And defend. We really, we really need to be careful here, because he's going to be taking quite a bit of... Uh, um, defense or shield or block because of this so we need to be hitting him uh, for 14 plus damage um, this time we don't have to attack or we don't have to do uh, defend even though, even though we don't have any let's do thunderclap for vulnerable that's going to help us out a huge amount attack attack and attack good now we've brought that down to 12, the plated armor. Again, I mean, Liquid Bronze would be a good one for him since he's going to be attacking quite a bit. I'm not sure. Maybe... Maybe that would help. Let's let's do it. Let's just do it. This way, is, he's going to be taking 3 damage every time he attacks. Um, he's going to be attacking for 12 this time. Perfected Strike would definitely help out quite a bit. Let's do that since we're getting... Uh, I need to remember this. We're getting four. So, four energy. Let's do a Defend and a uh, Body Slam. And it is unblocked because his shield is gone when it comes to his turn. So that's that's a good option there. Impervious. Yeah, let's take that. Now we won't have to really worry about that. 
Um, bash would be nice to put the... Let's do that. It doesn't remove the shield. That's fine, but we have uh, vulnerable for the next turn or two. Yeah, okay, for this one more turn. So that's going to help out quite a bit. Like that. Man, this paper frog is huge. Blood for blood. Costs one less each time you lose HP. This combat deal 18 damage. Um, I would say Clash would be... Clash is a good card, but we have too many defend cards already. So it might not be a good card. However, because we usually play a lot of uh, defend cards or skills when we get them, um, this might be a good option for us. Let's do it. Let's do it. I, I hope it works. I think it should, right? But Yeah, they also have barricade too, so. But that's fine, because look at this. Oh, that's right. Okay. So because the artifact, they had artifact three. So our bag of marbles only removed one of them, so. And it's just going to be taking a lot. I mean, I still think we need to Affected Strike, Defend, Defend, so that we can... S oh, that's right, we don't have it. Okay, I need to play Barricade first, so I should have attacked, that's that's fine though. Um, armaments? And I guess we could play everything I've got here. That worked pretty well. Rail 5, wow. So it's not really necessary to... Yeah, it's block of, of 4. So let's go with Bash. Now I know that was only removing one more. But we do need to just be killing him quickly. We're going to be taking... I guess we can play one of those. Uh, we are going to be taking some damage this turn, but... We'll heal for eight, uh, 6 at the end anyway, so... Okay, so we can't play this yet. Attack, attack, skill, power. Well, let's do this. This. That. And that. All right. There we go. Not bad. So it does work out. Um, I know we might have just got lucky there, but... Oh, here we go. Body slam. Yeah, let's take another body slam. It's already upgraded, so that's great. Okay, well, we don't have this... Decay. It is a curse, so it would help with that. We would gain six more max HP. At the end of your turn, take two damage. Um, I mean, let's do it. It's it's basically better than doing that, and we'll be able to. Uh, what was it? Lose twenty hit points now and gain five so this way we will lo we'll lose two per every time it's in our hand which won't be too much we'll get rid of it at uh, like right around here I'm not gonna go this way I think I want to go this way so we'll get a little bit more money and then we'll get rid of it up here I think that's a good idea uh, let's Hmm. Let's actually fight, then we'll take the question mark. I think that'll be better. So this guy again. We'll take the barricade. I think that's a great card to start with. That right there is bad, because now we can't play the clash because we have the curse in our hand. Um, yeah, let's go with this. And... I 
think let's let's try and kill this one first, right? Yeah, that's too bad. Now I know if we, when we die we'll take two vulnerable, but it will be fine. Impervious, we can do this. Yeah, we already have barricade, so let's take impervious, and then. That's kind of okay. Let's not try and kill him. Let's actually deal some damage here, I think. Actually, no. I got an idea. Let's do it this way. This way we have more. Then we can do some more attacks. We'll kill this next round. And then we'll uh, start making some attacks here. Explosive potion. Would have been a good idea. Armaments. Thunderclap, that's a good one. That'll kill this one. That's great. And we're already above 18, so we don't have to worry about that. But we can still take some more and deal some damage here. Perfect. Great. Body slam, body slam. Two body slams. But we didn't pick up any uh, more defense. That's too bad. So... It's okay because now we have 15 15 so we won't be taking any damage again that's great dexterity one increases block where did we get that where did we get that was that this one this one okay hmm I forgot about that um, okay. So let's headbutt to grab a card that we want. Let's try Clash. I'm going to take Clash and I hope that I can play it next time. Um, body Slam. Body Slam. And Strike and Strike. We can do everything. That's great. We've lowered his uh, plated armor by quite a bit. Completely blocked. That's great. Okay. Okay. I can do this. So defend. Defend. Now we can play Clash. Uh, we'll apply Vulnerable. Attack. And... Ed. Great. And another explosion. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do need to remember that that's there. I think this one, okay, no, that's not what I thought. I thought it became free, but whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. No, that's not going to help us. I'm not going to take another armaments. We really need to uh, have some better attacking cards. Um, hmm. I'm going to go this way. I want to see what this is. Um, remove all strikes. No, I can't do that. Because that would just destroy my. Uh... We're gonna take. We're gonna recall here just to get this other piece. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that in this one video. But what was I? Oh, perfected strike. If we removed our five strikes, then it would just make this an attack six. Um, potentially nine. I'm not sure if strike. Maybe somebody can help me out with that but we don't have any other strike cards so that would make this card completely useless um, yeah, let's move on oh this guy this guy's a pain okay well barricade that'll make something uh, free that makes headbutt free let's do armaments impervious yeah I wish Maybe I should have done that, but it's okay. Um, well, we'll deal some damage and 21 damage. That's amazing. Let's take armaments again. Yeah, so every time that they that this one deals unblocked damage, we gain a wound, and those wounds are pretty terrible. Uh, armaments. I think that's always a good one. Vulnerable, let's do that. 
Yeah, aggressive. Nope, uh, painful stabs, that's what it is. Whenever you receive attack damage from this enemy, add a wound into your discard pile. Um, we have a bunch of free here, but we'll be dealing a lot of damage. Yeah, look at that. And we if it gets too bad, we have these two potions, just to just to remind myself. He is attacking, so let's go for that. Reaper, sure. And pack of nine. Or block. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's just continue the uh, the assault here. Bash for the vulnerable, and then that to kill him. Great. So we did get below 50. I think that's uh, why we had the... Th oh, I think we had the three because of something else. Um, for every five cards in your deck, heal three whenever you enter a rest site. Well, that works, because we have some rest coming up here. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain three block. That could be really good synergy with our barricade. Um, Thunderclap, we've already seen that's a really good idea too. Searing Blow, deal 12 damage, can be upgraded. Ah, right, right, right. Um, you know, I kind of want some more heavy attacks. But I think I'm going to take Rage. That way we can, we can gain some... Um, we go this way, we'll take another. That way we'll gain some block... Uh, during that turn anyway. I'm thinking of resting and actually resting this time. Going this way. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I want the uh, merchant, so we have to go this way. Alright, now is a really good time to, to maybe use both of those. Um, you know what? 21 health. I think I really want to do this. Um, there's 10 here. 10 here. Let's just do it. Uh, I'm going to forget about them anyway, so I might as well use them. That's what they're there for. And killing these off as quick as possible is kind of a good idea. I'd like to not... Uh, if I can skip healing, then that's a good thing. Um, let's go for armaments, then we can body slam twice. Let's... Well, body slam here would only be six, and that's not enough. So let's... Oh, well, we can do all of these cards. That's right. So, body slam you. We'll attack here, and then body slam will kill you. So we're only having this one attack coming in. And... Oh man, uh, okay. Well, we'll play that, I guess. I guess I should have played this, but whatever. Um, again, yeah, this is pretty bad. I'm going to have to remove that. Um, there, dead. Kaka! <laughs> I do, I do like the, uh, the humor in this game is just, it's just great. That's going to work out pretty well. Five dexterity. Oh, we do lose it at the end, but it, it's going to help a lot with our synergy. That's great. Uh, five block and five damage. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Deal six. 16 damage. 
that's not good. We really want to have the blocking cards. Uh, play your top card and exhaust it. You know, we're going to skip it this time. All right, here comes another one. That's fine. Uh, we'll take the money and start each combat with one strength. Oh, this is tough. Because, I, I mean, I want to pick up the Sapphire, Sapphire Key. Um, we do have a good game going here. The, the synergies are working out pretty well. But the one strength could be pretty nice. I, I think we'll we'll take the Sapphire Key. Um, we have a lot of money to spend, so maybe we can find something cool here to purchase. First thing I'm going to do is remove Decay. That's going to be uh, a pain to keep in there, literally. Let's take a look at this. Pen Nib is pretty good. Every 10th attack you may play you play deals double damage. We have a lot of hard hitting cards, so that's probably a really good one. Normal enemy uh, normal enemy combats are no longer. That's that's pretty useless. Cards with exhaust when played will instead discard. Now, let's take Pen Nib. I like Pen Nib. Um, I don't think we necessarily need to take another card here. That's not worth it. Draw a card, put a card from your hand on top of the card pile. No. This one could be nice. Cleave is really nice, and it's actually it's on sale. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't mean too much, but... I think cleave would be a good one to deal. Let's see, what are we up against here? Is that the the two, like the the knight and the healer? Hmm. Let's let's take it. I, I'd like to have another one. Maybe a potion too. Um. We can just spend the rest of our money here, really. Exhaust any number. That's not. Play the top three cards of your... Hmm. In an artifact. That would take all of our money. No. You know what? Let's, let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. I, I thought this was the... Uh, I was just talking about it. I thought this was like the... the final boss of the level um, yeah weird okay writhe so whenever you play an attack this turn I mean let's go for it it's free we don't really need to uh, oh we could do it again too that's a that's kind of a good idea um, I think I will let's go for the mystic first she is quite a pain. We can block one. Yep. So we'll block this full attack here. And we'll be taking some damage from her. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Braille now. Um, spot weakness will be... Uh, now both of them are actually kind of worthless here. Dang, um, yeah, that's that kind of sucks. That was a bad pull for a turn where they're not even attacking. Yeah, that's why I want to kill you. I hate you. Uh, barricade and impervious. Look at that, 23. Um, and we can play clash too. So let's attack here and clash you. So 12 more damage, we'll, we will have killed you. I think we're only taking... Oh, no, we're not taking any. Okay, we're down to three. Um, perfect. We'll cleave. That's not what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> I thought that was going to kill you. Um, well, we'll hit you. We'll kill you. We'll hit you. So the next one. Let's 
Sorry, I don't know how loud planes are when they're taking off. I don't know how much you hear of that. Uh, so, we want... Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I thought that was gonna... That was too fast. Too fast. That was just terrible. Uh, one health left. Okay. If I had a way of healing, I would have played that card instead. Good, we have another one of these. That'll work. Flex is a good one, actually. Um, double your block. Oof. That one's a tough one to pass up. So we're not going to. Let's continue fighting here. Once again, man, this clash, we're pulling it in uh, bad times here. Let's go for, I mean, I guess we can, we're not able to do too much here. Um, I think he attacks more than once sometimes. I'll, I'll let it pass this time. Alright, so he's going to actually heal anyway, so... Uh, okay. Infected Strike would be nice. We could just kill you. And defend, defend. Yeah. Let's do this, this... And maybe just do this attack. I mean, we could obviously do that, but... Yeah, let's go this way. As long as you're not healing. Great, now we're at 50% or lower. That helps us quite a bit. Um, barricade? That'll make something free. Armaments. That'll get everything else up. Let's play this. That will kill that one. Yes. Um, so it's going to make that stronger. Yeah. It's 11 more damage. It'd be cool if this was actually... The red skull was relative to how much, like the percentage that you have. That would be pretty cool. Uh, double the block. That's that's pointless. Um, cleave and kill. It would have been nice to carry Pennib forward, I guess, but oh well. Ethereal. Oh, that's what... Okay, we get rid of it. We're going to skip this. I don't, we don't really need too many more cards in our hand. Uh, in our deck. We have 25 at the moment. That's quite a bit. Um, the end of your turn, gain one. This would increase our HP by six if we take another one. But let's go this route. Potion, potions always appear in combat rewards. That's good to know because then I'll I'll try to use these more often, right? Valuable. Let's definitely drink this. Um, come on, that is pretty annoying. Well, let's go with this. And I guess we can go with that. That would have killed him, but of course not. Oh, so close. Uh, we really need to um, be careful here now. That one's cool. Another clash.
No. I say we rest. Let's take this rest, this opportunity to rest here. Okay, well it is the night. Anyway. That I I was picturing this night with the other thing, so. Um we have Rife here, so we don't have to worry about the next. The Impervious, I would like to play this when I already have um, Barricade out. And then Entrench is a really good follow-up for Impervious as well. So let's, let's just go straight in here. That's 42 damage. We'll cleave. We'll attack. We will heal completely after this, so I'm not too worried about our health. Uh, Thunderclap. To bring that up. We could do this. That would um, heal us by 7. But... Let's just go attack, attack, and nib. We do have other options for that, but face slap. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Barricade. Armaments. Oh man, that made armaments free, didn't it? So block, block. Um, yeah, that's too bad. Okay. Now is either a good time to just put out a lot of block, which that's not going to be the case. Because I do have Entrench here, but we won't be using it now. Um, headbutt. Let's bash. Headbutt. Um... I kind of want to take Bash right back again, but... Impervious might be a good option. Let's take Impervious just in case he, he's dealing a ton of damage. We'll do the Defend just to increase that a little bit more. We are going to keep that. I know it's not much. But... Alright, so we're still not being attacked. Okay. Uh, but that's fine. We can still... Um, let's still do this, right? 57 damage, look at that. And then Clash. So now we're super ready. If I can pull out the... Um... Man, he's just buffing, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, is that back here? Entrench would be a great card to have right now. Then we won't have to worry about many incoming attacks at all. Um, we could heal. I don't think that's too necessary. Let's play the Rage so that we can just do a bunch of strikes. Um, one, two, three. Let's just do it anyway. And then strike and strike. Look at that, 56. I think it I think it caps off at 99. Yeah, that's pretty scary. 18 times 2. Well, we're still completely blocking it, but uh spot weakness. I guess we're going to play all of them, but vulnerable Spot weakness. Look at that. <laughs> 126. 220. That, that is when you know there's good synergy going on here. Uh, snack oil. Draw five. Randomize the cost. I don't know how much I like that one, so we might not use it at all. Um, to all enemies, add burn into your discard pile. 
Yeah, we're going to continue to skip here. I have 25 cards. That's quite a bit. Oh, my. Oh, okay, good. We don't get a uh, curse because of this. It's a boss chest. Upon pickup, remove two cards from your deck. This might be a good one. Um, but I don't know if I have two cards that I really want to get rid of. I can no longer smith. This would be a good one. At the end of your turn, no longer discard your hand. Let's uh, let's not smith anymore. I don't really think that it's too necessary. I think we have some, some good cards in our hand that will allow us to... Um, if I could remember what it's called, armaments. We have... Is it just the one? I thought we had two. I guess it's just the one. I do want to get rid of Rive. That would drop it down to 24. Okay. So we have an early one here. We have an early one there. This one is all or nothing. So I kind of like my options over here. I'm going to go this way and go to that early market. Flash, writhe. I mean, it's 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 as if it's just mocking me now. So, thunderclap. That will add one more uh, vulnerable. Perfected strike. Who wants to die? Um, leave. That's fourteen each. I know I'm taking damage, and it's because of this one. Uh, let's just kill it. Maybe I should have killed it at the beginning. That would have reduced the uh, the damage coming in. Alright, Rage, just get it out of there. Um, strike would kill this one. And that one dies too. Good. Good work. We've healed most of our damage up anyway. So I'm going to drop, I don't like snack oil too much. I, I We have a lot of, um, oh man, another body slam would be great, wouldn't it? Even iron wave would be nice. Uh, the problem is that, I mean, it's not much of an attack card. The block is always nice. I think I'd like to take another one though. Weak. No. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to go right here and we're going to remove that one anyway, so. Yeah, okay. Now we don't have to pay for it, actually. Right, gone. Perfect. Now, do I even care about going this way? I could purchase. I think I have enough money to purchase one. Um, let's do it. Barely. Start each elite with two strength. This would be good. That would help quite a bit for gaining more uh, relics. I'm not going to take any more. <laughs> I'm not going to take any more body slams. Uh, let's do it. Let's grab sling. Uh, leave. So we can hit up this this guy. Maybe hit up that one too, and we'll have two going into the final uh, battle here. Vulnerable. At the end of the turn gains three strength. Right. Uh, rage. Let's just play it. Ooh, I should have played armaments first. I should have played armaments first. Um, ooh, okay, so... Yeah. That's not exhausted now. That's pretty nice to know. It's really nice to know. Okay, so we have a clash here, but we'll be able to do everything else. Um, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I want to play that. Let's just take these. Yeah. I, I don't... 
I don't need to uh, to disc to exhaust that now. I probably won't be getting through the whole deck anyway um, before I kill it. So let's start with a bash and dead. Yeah, we don't care about that. So I need to remember. See what I'm saying? I need to remember to play or to use my potions. Snack oil? That's fine. I don't need to do that. Oh man. Okay. Heavy blade might be a really good one to add. Perfected strike might be another one too because now it's another strike. Um. Oh, this is tough. This is really tough because heavy blade. We will. We have ways of getting strength. Um. I know this is like a a bad problem to have, but I don't know. I thought I had a way. Oh well, Red Skull will give us strength. That would be adding 15 to Heavy Blade if we're at half. Um, so that would double it. That would make. And then, oh, yeah, this is a tough. This is tough. Heavy Blade. We we have to take it, right? I might go that route, and no, I don't have enough money, so we won't go that way. All right. Rage. Okay. We're taking we're going to be taking some damage here. I could play impervious and clash. Cuz I I really want to play all of them, right? So I could take zero damage and just get rid of Impervious. So I'm, I'm going to... Still don't know. Uh, <laughs> I pause to, to think about it, go get some more water, and I still don't really know what to do here. Um, let's let's attack we can strike strike that's gonna help out do i want to take zero damage um no you know what no let's let's skip it for now let's get barricade up before we play uh impervious like that um and of course now we have entrench as well so actually entrench why let me take a look at this I was under the impression that Entrench... Oh, okay. So, it doesn't exhaust. For some reason, I thought that it exhausted when you play it. So, it's actually a much better card um, than I thought. So... Then... Bash. Entrench. And Body Slam. We still haven't seen it yet. Where is it? Barricade's coming up still. It's not doing anything, so we don't really have to worry about... Um, and of course, now I have all my body slams in zero. So we'll take the defend. Um, two, three, four. I can play all of these. I'm going to play this just to kind of get it out of our deck. Uh, attack, attack, attack. So, Pen Nib is coming up. We do have this, too. So if I'm in a bad position, I can just draw three cards. What is in my Reaper? I could play Reaper again, and it would be zero, too. That's a good idea for Pen Nib, actually. Then I can heal quite a bit. Uh, Barricade. That's made this defend zero. Thundercrap. Clap. Now we have Pen Nib. Um, I, the Dexterity probably would have been the best ones. Do I have anything here? 
the end of your turn, take 10 damage. No, let's just go for it. So we're going to be taking 10 damage every round. That was a bad hit. Now I'm thinking I do want to take that. Uh, my exhausted, what is it, Reaper. I could take Reaper back and heal a little bit. Um... Twenty-two damage. I mean, I think I can kill it now, right? I have this, and I have heavy blade, and a strike. Uh, that would be twenty-four. Thirty-eight. Yeah, that's that's enough. Yes. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. We can use this at a later time. We did heal up a little bit. We, I mean, we have 70 health. We're doing really good. A block potion would be great. Um, this is what I mean. Now I... <laughs> uh, liquid memories. Discard it. The block is going to be amazing. I'm not taking any of these. I don't even want to look at them. Yep. And resting... No, we want to go here. We want to take on another elite... Uh, because this one's going to help us with that. Previous. Uh, Thunderclap will be good. Let's... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's draw three more cards, hoping for something better than what we just got. Um, skill, whatever. Let's just get that out of our hand. Well, vulnerable. Reaper. Get that um, out of our deck. And a strike. And a strike. Alright. I was kind of hoping for something better here. Uh, we can use this at a later time. Okay, spot weakness. I think that's a good idea here. Right? Right. Let's do it. Entrench. Double your block. Thirty-eight damage. That was a. Oh man, I should have waited. Ugh. I should have waited. If I had Pennib on that, it would have been double. I guess you guys probably just need to scream a little louder. Because <laughs> I didn't hear you. Alright. Um, still don't have Barricade again. I was getting really lucky with that back then, but uh, I guess not anymore. Headbutt. Headbutt. Let's use Headbutt so that I can bring back impervious and then I'm hoping that I pull that and I can use that get both of those out of my hands um, well it doesn't matter what I play here attack 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 and turn all right all right nope armaments Defend, defend, leave. We are blocking it to uh, completely, that's good. Not attacking this turn. Barricade. Finally. Um, bash. And heavy blade. Look at that, 50. Nice. And we can even attack with that, sure, whatever. So our next attack, Pennib. Pennib, Pennib, Pennib. I 
I think we go defend, defend, and then our body slam is really nice at 36. We can play all of these cards. Um, 36, you know what we do here? We drink this. We take almost zero damage, and now it's 60. 60, oh, that's right. <laughs> Okay, maybe I didn't uh, need that, but um, it is dead. That's all that matters. We have another dexterity potion. Both of these will give me some good dexterity, so when I do play... Uh, spot the weakness would be really good, but I am going to skip this again. Alright, let's jump right in. Oh, this one. This one's kind of new for me. I feel like I only recently saw this for the first time. But we can kill this one of these off almost immediately. Well, we can actually immediately. Let's go with Reaper. That is six to all. And we heal a whole bunch. There we go. Oh, we've completely healed. We can kill this one. And Heavy Blade... 42 damage here. Yep. So we are going to take some damage, but we just healed up completely. So I, th I think we're fine with this. A wound. Okay. 25. Okay. Okay. Cleave again. That's, that's great. Oops. Thunderclap. And then vulnerable. Cleave. Now we've killed both of them. Now we have no incoming attacks here. Let's go with Perfected Strike. Strike. And not a Body Slam, okay. We have seven on our Pen Nib. I don't know why you're laughing. Um, oh yeah, so Impervious. Well, we can play all these. I think because it's a minion, it will go when I kill her. Yes, okay. And we did lose the pen nib that time. That's fine. Um, Mercury Hourglass. At the start of your turn, deal three to all enemies. What? <laughs> I've never seen that one before. Uh, Dexterity Potion, another one. Okay, these are all good for blocking, which is exactly what we want for our... Ooh, Thunderclap would be another good one for us, but we're, we're going to skip it. We have 26 cards in our deck. I think that's good. I might stop here to pull one out even. It, it might be nice to delete one of those. Uh, actually, it will, because we're going to gain a curse right there, so... Uh... Let's go here. Okay, fair enough. Should be able to deal with... Oh yeah, that's right. That Mercury Hourglass. Reaper. No, that's not a good time to use this. Um, armaments. They're almost... I mean, we could block here. There's really no reason to use Reaper at the moment, so I don't think I will. We'll just block, block, strike. Yeah, this is this is a really good, good run. Um, I'm not going to hold any hopes here, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, this is looking to be one of my better runs that I've had in a long time, so... Um, Barricade. Yep, defend. We'll always take that defend. Impervious. And cleave. That wasn't enough. That was not enough. But we're not taking any damage. Couple dazed. Ah, right. But that's going to kill it. Um, 
spot the weakness. That's going to be nice for Heavy Blade and a Perfected Strike. Wow. Let's go with... I mean, we can play all but Body Slam. So let's go with Body Slam here. That one's dead now. Perfected Strike. Heavy Blade. Uh, we'll be taking two damage, but that's fine. We'll be healing it all back at the end. Now we just need to... Oh! Oh my! That's... That's rough. That is rough. And of course, it just threw a whole bunch of... Uh, um, block right back up again. So we'll do this... Ah, right. I mean, we're, we've got this. We've got it. A, a block potion. Um, okay. Here. Discard. Take that. Nope. Don't even look at it. So we want to go this way so we can head to the market to pull this curse out. Uh, clumsy ethereal. Oh, so that one actually will go away anyway, but... We'll take this upon pickup upgrade two random skills entrench fantastic fantastic all right two explosives one with uh thorns or whatever that's called yep thorns and then this guy's just gonna be a punk um well we start off with a barricade and double my block Drink that, please. Double the barricade. Or double the block. So now we have a healthy amount of uh, block for this. We might take some damage. Um, let's see here. We want to be killing these quickly, right? So, well, let's attack one of them. Pen nib. There we go. Let's kill that one. That's great. Let's take Entrench right back again. And let's see here. Yeah, let's go with that one. Th this one's probably better, but it's only going to be putting some cards in our deck. I'm not too worried about that. Um, we'll probably be able to kill it uh, this round. If we get... Yeah, we, we did get Heavy Blade, but we didn't get another card that I wanted. Uh... Armaments. I think everything's already leveled up. Yep. 14. Double the block. Might as well. We can afford it. Now it's 28. So now we can kill both of these. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this is a fantastic deck for the first time uh, my first time playing with uh, on the channel so this is a good way don't uh, don't get too don't get too used to this um, this never happens fear three vulnerable wow I'm getting everything that I need um, it's so hard to uh, to pass these up And we want to drop that curse. We have 50 bucks left. A skill potion, I don't think that's necessary. I don't want to buy any of these. Dual wield could be really, really good, actually. Uh, particularly for our... Do it. Do it. I know. I know. I just removed a card. Um... I am war and no longer heal. I don't think that's really necessary. Heal to full, that's not really necessary. Let's take on a, a act one boss. We'll be able to take care of this very easily. Um, thunderclap, defend just so that I can play this. Um, 
Reaper, whatever. It's gonna exhaust. I don't need to heal or anything. Clash. And then let's take that clash right back. Yeah. I could play this to continue with this vulnerability. I don't think we need to. I'm going to play this. This. I think we're actually... Ah, we're really close. So it's going to split up. Um, but now we, we... The two that we have, they will actually split as well. But we won't... That's not going to be necessary. Um, yeah, cleave. So now they're going to split. And... Oh, but I don't have enough. We can kill one of them at least. Um, oh, actually we do. There we go. There we go. East pipe. You can now remove cards. That's good. I'm not. I'm okay with that. Deal 20 damage. It's ethereal. What would this look like? 28. That's not really worth it. Skip it. Uh, we do have a whole bunch of... Okay, I'm fine with this. Ooh, do we fight it? Yeah, we fight it for another relic. I mean, look at the relics that we have. Let's add another one, right? So, dealing three damage. I guess these aren't elite. Um, necessarily, so... We go with Impervious. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I think that's how we do it here. Let's deal the extra damage. Impervious, let's take zero damage. Uh, spot the weakness would have been good to have actually before that. And then 59 damage. This is too easy. Too easy. But again, don't, like, don't get used to this. If I if I do end up bringing this back, and I'd like to actually, I I, I like this game quite a bit. So if um, if you're interested in in me playing this and continuing this, um, then definitely let me know. Leave a comment, like the the video. That's gonna help out quite a bit. Um, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter which I take back. Another body slam, maybe, but or sure, whatever. We'll block and we'll attack here. Oh, All right, there's a bug. Mosquitoes flying around me right now, so. All right, strike it's dead. Okay, old coin upon pickup. Oh man, just a whole bunch of gold. That is completely worthless. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have. I have no way to um, to use that. Unless this is a mer uh, market. It's not. Yeah. Do I go for this? Um, I don't know. Nope. Let's not. I guess I could have removed it here. Oh, I could have removed it here. Okay. Well, let's do this anyway. Um, yeah, but I don't actually see, well, let's take a strike out. How about that? There we go. And now I'm realizing that I shouldn't have done that. I should have dropped a, um, what is it? A defend? That probably would have been a better idea. That would have been a better idea. All right. Rage. Just get that going. 
Right, okay, what do we have to do? This enemy intends to inflict a negative effect on you and attack for 26. Time warp. When you play 12 cards, end your turn and gains 2 strength. So we need to time that in a way. Yeah, we need to time that. So we don't want to play more than four cards per turn so that we, if we play like five here, five there, then we can only play two after that. So we want to be playing four per round. Um, what did we just play here? Rage, probably a bad one to play. Um, defend. Let's throw this, let's use that. Okay, that's four. That was pretty bad. I didn't really want to take one of these cards back. Okay, what's going on here? Why do I have... Alright, I, I just have to pause. Dealt with the uh, Mosquito and turn. I only have four cards in my hand. Why? Oh, okay, okay. That was the thing that they just... He just put on me. Alright. Well, I have to play all of these. That's fine. I can... I think I can deal with that. Um, body Slam's probably not going to do anything. So I guess strike. Let's play. Let's play it anyway. It's nothing's gonna happen. But I want to be playing four per turn, um, so that I can stay with that. I mean, maybe I could have played five that turn. Pen nib is at eight. Okay. Um. Huh. So I, I only picked up four again. So I guess I'm glad that I played it that way. However, um, yeah, I guess I don't need to play this. All right, uh, I'll skip this one. So we'll thunderclap. Impervious. So I don't take this damage. And then that's 49 damage. Now I can only play one card next round. Well, I think we go armaments. That's it. Oh man, well this was working out very well earlier. Um, and now he's not attacking. Of course, I pick up spot the weakness, spot weakness, and now he's not attacking. So one, oops. I, I, again, I want to stick with this four. Twenty. So, barricade. Let's just let's just go for the. Um, yeah, I should have played one of those. Man, that would have been a really good one for uh, speed. Ouch. Okay, he's a he's a tough one. He's definitely a tough one um, because of this. That time warp is really annoying. So I can only play four. Let's go with, and I have two bo <laughs> two body slams now. Um, this would be twenty five. I mean, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. We'll deal with this. 
Strike. Strike. And, I mean, body slam. 11, 11, 11. So, there it goes. Well, that was fun. That was that was worth it though. It's it's fun. Um, I'll try again tomorrow. Yeah, probably. I mean, we had we had a lot of good things going for him, right? If you if you look at the the synergies that we had, um, the vulnerable synergy was great. Even this was okay. We kept we've added a lot of HP because of that. We're at one hundred three. Uh, when dexterity was good, the um, I mean the red skull, the mummified hand, the paper frog, a, a lot of these already up here were were working so well together. So and then of course pen nib is always a good one. Um, I should have been using my potions toward the end. I think that would have been uh, pretty helpful. But yeah. Well, we've, I've actually reached the, the final one, so let's check out that. The blue candle. Unplayable curse cards can now be played. Whenever you play it, lose one and exhaust it. That's interesting. Dead branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card into your hand. When adding cards into your deck, you may raise your max HP by 2 instead. This one would have been great for the... For this build because when I hit or for any build actually but once I hit about 25 cards I stopped taking the cards so singing bowl would be great um, we probably have at least 20 more HP there but anyway yeah let me know what you think if you if you want to see this return back to the channel please let me know either in the comments or leave a like um, I sure would love to bring this back from time to time if we if we uh, do really well with this um, if I get some good feedback then I would be happy to maybe do one every week um, at least add it to our weekly schedule so yeah let me know what you think I hope you enjoyed this thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you next time